Hold on. So, so today is going to be a really quick video, maybe five minutes, something like that. Um, this, there's a house out there. I got a little bit of flack for posting about these guys. Now, they clone, and I get this, the full bottle of this fragrance on Monday. Um, so, you can see the similarities. This is Mincera Crazy for Oud. This is a four ounce bottle. This will cost you maybe around 80 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that. This is Instant Crush by Mincera. So you can see they they took the uh, Mincera, well, Mincera changed their labels, but they're cloning red tobacco. Now I have had a decant of red tobacco. I haven't had the full fragrance. So I got this, got a full, you know, Got the full fragrance also, and decided to test this out. Get him, get him. Hold on for a second. Now, what do I think about this fragrance? By the way, I've been doing pretty good at the gym. Getting a little bit of these gains back, guys. Anyway, this is not a gym. By the way, this is not a gym scent. <laughs> uh, this is a clone of Mancera's Red Tobacco. What do I get from Red Tobacco? Now, I went through, I never had a full bottle of it, but I have had the 5 mil decant. What do I get from it? I get this. Right? When I go through that next bottle of Red Tobacco, I probably am not going to buy another full bottle. It took me a little bit to like the scent. Sorry. Got to give me some protein in, too. It took me a little bit to like the scent because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Initially, I got <clears throat> I got cinnamon red hots, and what do I get off this? Cinnamon red hots. It's got some woody notes. There is an agar wood in here. Um, it's tobacco, I believe. There's some saffron in here. I'll look up the notes real quick. But basically, you're going to get the same as... Um, you're going to get the same as... Uh, get all... Hold on for a sec, guys. Calm down, buddy. Here. There you go. Um, there is some, some tobacco in here. It's strong. And I think it's a good fragrance. I, I'm a huge fan of it. So this has some. Um, actually, you know what? I'll put the notes in the in the video. But cinnamon, agarwood, saffron, incense, nutmeg, green apple, white pear, patchouli, jasmine, tobacco, Madagascar, vanilla, amber, guaiac wood, sandalwood, white musk, and Haitian vetiver. What do I get out of here? I get the cinnamon. <laughs> do I get the cinnamon? I get mostly cinnamon. A little bit of the agarwood or oud. I get some saffron, some incense. I don't really get the nutmeg. I do get the um, the green apple, which kind of has like this underlying like sour sweetness. I don't get any white pear. I get the tobacco, vanilla. I get the amber. Some sandalwood. The same notes are in here that are in um, red tobacco. I'm going heavy on this one. I'm not going to spray here because I tend to go, uh, I would say nosmic, but that's more of a long term. Um, I get some olfactory fatigue if it's directly in my face. I'm going with six sprays to this one because this is not one that you need to overspray. Um, you can see, obviously, they're going to clone. Now, I, I was talking to somebody, and they were like, the the quality of the the um, Paris Corner fragrances, the bottles are not as good. 
So I'm holding these two, right? Yeah, they're both pretty good, pretty thick glass. Both have that rounded edge. Obviously, same bottle, but this is a magnetic cap. This one, this one is not. Don't hold it by the bottle, but you never, or by the cap, but you never should hold your fragrances by the cap. What do I think about this, though? I actually feel like this is a little bit more sturdy in my hand. As you can see, this is just some of my fragrances. Not all of them. I have more on this side. But this is my current rotation. So I don't show this. I just show these for display because this has, you know, my my fougeres, my, my summer fragrances. Everything that I'm not usually currently wearing is on this side. What I currently wear is on this side. I like it. I think this is really really good and when i get the bottle of red tobacco obviously i'm going to compare them i got told today i wore this to work that this was too strong i only wore five fragrances and a lady said that she she thinks it's not um she doesn't think it's something that should be worn at work I disagree, but fragrances are subjective. Um, <clears throat> but this, this is Mancera's Red Tobacco. If you like Red Tobacco, you're going to like this. Okay, Same notes, smells the same. I get the exact same feeling. I even get a little bit of cherry tobacco from this, but there's no cherry note in here. So I don't know where I get that from, but I think a lot of times a, a certain note will stick out to me. And maybe the way the you know the pear and the apple are are melding together. Maybe that causes me to get a cherry sweetness because because you know red the bottle and your senses or whatever, but I can get a little bit of a red a cherry tobacco here. I like this fragrance. People clown on me in the groups. And sometimes even here for posting stuff like this. Because I used to post stuff stuff like Chromatic and other, you know, Invincible and stuff like that years ago. But I don't think Pandora can be put in the same class as those. Mirage uses questionable ingredients. That's a strong statement. But I've had a lot of reactions to Mirage fragrances. I don't really wear them much. But Pandora, like for instance, Pandora also created a pretty pretty good clone. Of this. Mason Francis Christian's Ooh Satin Mood. Right? Pandora's a good house. Pandora makes very, very good fragrances. They may not be the highest quality, but for what you pay, you're going to get a good, good fragrance. Now, do they, I mean, is this a little cheesy? Yeah, yeah, it's cheesy. Okay. This is an older Mancera. Is it cheesy to do this? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, honestly, if when I put the red tobacco bottle on next to it and you see the color, you're not going to know the difference which bottle is which. So should, should they stop doing that? Yeah. Yeah, they should. But they do it to give you an idea of what it's supposed to be copying. Come up. Pandora, if you ever seen this video, or Parish Corner... Change your bottles. Don't make them look like a Mancera bottle. Don't make it... Like, I shouldn't have to question. And I've seen Pandora bottles in collections on YouTube videos and in pictures. And I'm like, is that a Mancera? But no. Like, you know. They even in the... Here. Have, like, the little spots that come down. To maybe look like an M a little bit. Versus the Mancera. You shouldn't do that. 
Don't do that. Change the bottles. But for the juice, I'm not reviewing the bottle. For the juice that is inside this fragrance, I actually really like it. Which is interesting to me because it took me a while to like... Like, there's a subscriber on here. His name is Will Torres. Or 14 Sprays Minimum. Ask him. He's the one who sent me the red tobacco. I didn't like it at first. It took me all five of those milliliters to realize what red tobacco is. And when I realized what red tobacco was, I realized what a special fragrance it is. And I love it. And this gets pretty damn close. Later.